Welcome to the first in a long series of three minute how to videos for noobs and pros alike. Today we'll be discussing label types. So let's just jump right into a battle to show this. Uh, if you're like me, you played Wargame European Escalation, and when you first launched the game, you saw some new labels, which in itself aren't bad. Uh, they strayed away from the NATO. Uh, designations for some of the unit types uh, instead of a rectangle with some um, an ellipse and some crosses for a tank we have an actual tank symbol uh, and so on and so forth so um, a few things about this when I zoom all the way out I have uh, I have really have no indication exactly where my units are on this map. Um, I can see at what latitude they're at, but at what longitude gets a little straight. For example, here's my command vehicle right here in the middle of the road. When I zoom right out, it shows me I'm over here somewhere south of Foxtrot. Um, that's what I don't like about this, this setup. What I do like is that, let's, for example, if I unload this infantry, it is very, very easy for me to select the infantry and not accidentally click the vehicle that it came out of. Um, but that in itself is not enough for me. So to switch over to European Escalation label type, go to Options, Interface, and European Escalation and you can apparently get into more detail with some custom label types. So we'll just apply that and get back into the game and immediately you can see something you're more familiar with from European Escalation. I know exactly where my units are. Even though it might be a little difficult to read, you really shouldn't be clumping your units anyway. Um, and I'll show you what I mean with um, some of the difficulty. So for example, if I'm in the heat of the battle Here's my camera angle. Now, if I want to select those LAV 25s, it's going to require some tact. Either I have to click directly on them, but maybe I'll misclick and select the infantry, or I've got to rotate my camera until I can see the LAV 25s and finally move them. But that in and of itself just takes some practice and tact. It's not enough to make me want to play with the airland battle label types. Uh, incidentally, um, I think we may have found a bug because I, if I select NATO and European Escalation, NATO does not show up. So, anyway, there's also one more bug I'll show with you. Do, 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 do. Um, I simply played like a four minute skirmish battle there and I got some XP from it. So hopefully that'll get fixed before the launch. Until next time, thank you very much.